know what David's on David, about now. David, We're one and out here on David. David is completely in charge of the Irish Astronomical Society. He owns sort it. Sort of. He owns and it. And he earns all the money, money as well. David, how much money do you earn? <laughs> about two pounds fifty a year. Per wow. star. No, no, per star. <gasps> so, wow. And there's millions of them. Millions. David, there's something very special happening. That's why you're on so early. We normally have our guests at about a quarter past five, but you have to get off to see something today. That's so, right. So tell us all about it. What uh, is it? There is an eclipse of the moon this evening. Ooh. The last one for three years almost. Wow. And what, what is an eclipse of the moon? Well, exactly. the, Earth goes, uh, the Earth goes around the sun about once a year. Okay. And the moon goes around the Earth um, about once a month. Right. <laughs> you, would, you might think that the sun, Earth and moon would be lined up so the, Earth would go into, so the moon would go into the Earth's shadow once a month. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it actually goes usually a bit above or a bit below. Mm -hmm. yeah. But roughly about every, every, twice a year it can go through the shadow. <gasps> and sometimes it goes straight through the shadow mm -hmm. and is totally eclipsed. And you have to be on the right side of the Earth, facing towards this event. Oh, yeah. And that's what will be happening tonight. And where will you be able to see it from, if you're well, in Ireland? Any, anywhere, in, anywhere in the country, in fact, oh, you'll right. be able to see it, without any difficulty whatsoever. Wow. I thought it was just on the East wow. Coast. On yeah. the East Coast, um, the moon will be... The, it will start when the moon is rising and mm. the sun is setting. Right. So we have to uh, uh, contend with a bit of yeah. twilight. The sky right. will be a bit bright. But oh, as right. the night yeah. wears on, you, the eclipse lasts for three and a half hours. Wow and it will get higher and higher and higher. Wow. Yeah. And is it going to be any... What's the weather like? Is it going to be cloudy or clear or anything like that? Well, from what yeah. I can tell from the Met Office, the weather will be very good over the centre part of the country. Yeah. The north and the south just might have a lot of cloud. Yeah. But all you need is a couple of breaks in the cloud for a few minutes every mm. half hour or so, and you'll be able to see the whole event. And listen, what do you need to be able to see it properly? I mean, can you just look up with your eyes, or do you need binoculars? Do you need something like that? Uh, well, you can... Uh, see the whole event with your eyes, mm -hmm. but if yeah. you have a pair of binoculars, they give you about a ten times better view. Wow! And most people do have binoculars. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I've got binoc I binoculars. I don't either. <laughs> That's gonna there it is. Your yeah, look, there it is already. Where is it? Uh, what? Tell us about the colours and all that. I believe there's some fantastic colours. Yes, well, as you can see on the pictures here, yeah. um, what happens at the start of the eclipse yeah. is the Earth's shadow slowly moves across the moon. Right. And no normally you have a, a very bright full moon. And here you can see there's a small chunk taken out of the top left-hand part yeah. of the moon. Ooh. And as the night wears on and the eclipse gets deeper, the, the chunk wow. gets larger. There's more of a shadow, isn't there? That's, That's the chunk. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's the shadow. And Good. on the next picture shadow. you'll see that the, uh, the shadow is, is, is yeah. taken over Ooh. half of the moon. The man wow. on the moon. And in fact, there's two things you'll see on the shadow there. First yeah. one is that it's curved, so the yeah. Earth is actually round. The Earth has a round shadow, so uh -huh. the Earth is round. <gasps> And the second thing is, you I can always see thought it was square. <laughs> <laughs> ha ha! I'm only joking. <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, the curve is actually much larger than the moon. So in fact, yeah. we know from that as well that the Earth is bigger than the moon. Wow! And as the night wears on, the, the eclipse gets almost to totality. There's yeah. very little of the moon left, and it starts to go very dark uh, on the landscape yeah. where you're observing from. So you won't get to see this again now. This is a big chance tonight. You won't get to see it again until 1992, December sometime yes, in 1992. just before Christmas in 1992. Right. So it's a good wow. opportunity to get out there and have a look at the eclipse yeah. later on. At what, what time will it start at about? It will start at 5.30, low 5 in the east. Okay. You're going to miss Alf, but, you know. Well. And uh, <laughs> the total phase will run from about 10 to 7 until half past 7. Right. 42 minutes. Wow. And during that time, the, the moon will be very, very faint, about 100,000 times fainter than it normally is. Really? And, uh, now, David, these two guys know all about sort of outer space and all that because they yeah, come we from fly. a planet called Zog, you know. Yeah. But yeah. I don't know very much about it. If I wanted to find out more about it, how, how you know, from knowing nothing, how do I go about that? Well, the Irish Astronomical Society it, itself is an organisation for people who have any kind of interest in astronomy. We mm. exist just to promote interest in astronomy, and we have magazines and libraries and right. meetings and things like that. So you, you can contact us if you want to know about the eclipse in particular. Then we have a leaflet, right. which uh, we. Uh, we'll send out to anyone who, want, who wants one, free of charge, as long as they send us a stamped addressed envelope. Stra stamped addressed envelope. To a, p a post office box number that okay. we have. And there it is there. Woo, very PO box nice. 2547 Dublin 15. So it's the Irish Astronomical Society. Astronomical. It's a long word, isn't it? Yeah. PO box 2547 Dublin 15. 2547. So, right. so, and you get a free leaflet. Don't forget to put in the stamp. I'm going to write stamp, away. Self-addressed envelope. And you've also got this as well. This is a little poster. Just show it to everybody there. Brilliant. Eclipse Have a watch. Look. Because there's yeah, a big yeah, one on yeah, up yeah. in the Phoenix Park. I know they've been having this problem in a few different Says places around the country. Eclipse watch. Come and Come see, and see the, the moon, moon vanish. vanish.
9th on the 9th of Feb, February, 6th from to 9, 9 Phoenix PM. Park, Papal yeah. Cross, Papal refreshments, Cross. No charge at um, all. sandwiches, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. cheese and wine. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. Bring yeah, your so own grub, isn't that right, Dave? <laughs> Indeed. Bring yeah. your own That's grub. Good. A nice hot flask of soup. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Oh, brilliant. Soup. Listen, what's the difference? Just tell us, what's soup. the difference between astronomy and astrology? Just Oh, yeah. I know, well, I mean, no, 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 no. People do make mistakes. In fact, I made the mistake at the start there. Well, the simple difference is that astrology attempts to predict the future by looking at the stars and the planets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whereas astronomy isn't concerned with whether you can predict the future or not. It's just looking but at them. It's just looking at them and studying them and finding out what's out there. Yeah. Oh. What's out in space. And there's an L in astrology. True. <laughs> That's the yeah. difference. Listen, David, So, thank Dave, you very much. is there Thanks life on other planets besides Sog? Probably. <gasps> wow! And did the cow Shock really horror. jump over the moon? Probably. Probably. <laughs> Shock horror! Shock David, horror. thanks very much. Excuse We're going to take a little break. break. There is we'll life in other planets. On. We might Contact try and get David some filmed footage of that. That would be nice. Film footage? Yeah. Looks like your wow. face that. One of the days. What? Pothole. <laughs>